Georgia. I am so excited to be here with my friend, Chef Travis Fox. Chef, what do we have here today? It looks amazing. Thank you for having me. Uh, we're going to have pan seared skinless chicken breast mm -hmm. with a sweet potato salad. The sweet potato salad has feta, dried cranberries, some red onions, a little bit of fresh parsley with a Dijon cider vinaigrette tossed in it. You are talking my language. Roasted sweet potatoes and cranberries. Absolutely, Ooh. absolutely. I'm ready, let's get started. Okay, so let's put a little bit of this avocado oil in the pan. You wanna put just enough in there to be able to swirl it around some. So how much actually do you think that I need it's to a, use? It's about a tablespoon. So about a tablespoon? Yep. So you can go a little bit more little and more? that should get it. So what is the difference between avocado uh, that's good. and okay. olive oil? Okay. Well, the avocado oil is my go-to because it has a higher sm smoke point. Okay. Once uh, an oil or a fat starts to smoke, it actually can make whatever protein or whatever you're cooking rancid and it changes the flavor of it. So I go with avocado oil because it has a much higher smoke point than uh, olive oil. Although olive oil is great, but I prefer this. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we want to go ahead and we can put our chicken in. So this is our skinless... Skinless chicken, chicken breast. breast. Yep. All right. Oh, listen that's, to it. Talk that's the to sound us. we want to hear. Talking to us. Okay, so let's just throw that underneath there. Awesome, there we go. Okay, so while that is doing its thing, okay. we don't have to worry about that. It'll take care of itself. We're gonna go ahead and make the Dijon vinaigrette for our sweet potato Yay. salad. Okay. So now, how did you learn this recipe right here that we're making? Uh, actually, uh, vinaigrettes have been around for a while. I'm mm -hmm. a Dijon fan, okay. so I like to uh, add Dijon and apple cider vinegar is like extremely tart. So wow. I tamp it down with a little agave nectar. Ooh. The agave nectar comes from the same agave plant that we get our tequila from. So. So can I just take a shot of it? I wouldn't Cheers. advise it. It's a little okay. sweet. Okay, I was trying. I was it's a trying. little sweet. I was uh, gonna throw it back. Okay. So let's put in two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Okay, that's apple cider vinegar. And then you're gonna grab your Dijon mustard. Try Dijon mustard. Goes yep. in next. There we and go. Then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab your agave. Agave, y'all see that? That is beautiful. It kind of reminds you of honey. Yes, it does. It does. It has a little bit of a different taste than honey, and uh, I, I like it a little more. It's not as sweet as honey. Okay. So we're going to get at a little whisk, and we're going to bring it together. What we're doing now is called making an emulsification. So you're emulsifying. Emulsifying. Yep. Okay. That is when you have two ingredients that usually won't go together, mm -hmm. and you combine them and make one ingredient. There you go. That's Perfect. That looks good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a little hand here. Okay. We're going to take some of that same avocado oil, and as you whisk, I'm going to add in about a quarter of a cup. Give okay, it a nice little cup. whisk. We're going to do a little so, bit at a time. So when somebody make this, you need a partner to help you make this uh, this uh, recipe. Not, this necess vinaigrette. not necessarily because you can just hold the olive oil or your or your avocado well, oil. Well, I'm not really coordinated, so I'm going to need a partner to help me <laughs> so make that, this. So <laughs> that's what I'm here for. I'm here to assist. So I'm going to need help with this. So okay. we're going to add a little bit more here. Okay. That's looking great. So do we add like half, um, half of the quarter of I the usually cup? do that because it's a little easier. Okay. Uh, a lot of times if you dump too much in at one time, it'll what's called break on you. Okay. And the oil and uh, your it mustard will separate. So that looks great, that looks okay. great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little pinch of our seasoning and put it in there. Awesome. So how much seasoning are you putting in here? Just a little bit to flavor it, I and mean. So, and I think this right here is Georgia. That is Georgia. Putting the plug in. <laughs> this is Georgia's new savory season blend. Yep. Coming soon. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And it is fantastic. It uh, has a great little bit of, a, almost a Caribbean flair to it. Ooh. We've got the salt, the pepper, the garlic, but then a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of allspice. A few other things we'll keep secret for now. All right. But there you go. And we're going to take Coming a little soon. bit of our fresh herbs. We're going to toss that in there. That okay. looks fantastic. So exactly what kind of herb of this did you put in? That is flat leaf parsley. Flat leaf parsley. Yeah, okay. that just brightens it up a little bit. It has it looking beautiful. Okay, that's awesome. That's okay. that's ready to go. So, so I'll take that So we'll put that, that over there. And we'll set this to the side. Yep, we'll ready set for. that to the so side we'll for now. right here. I need to check on my chicken. You can check on it. It'll usually tell you when it wants to go because it'll release itself. Okay. So just 
peel that end up right there just a little bit. Why? We're getting there, almost. It's, that looks great, that looks, looks great. great. We're Perfect. almost there. So while that finishes up, we'll go ahead and we'll start our sweet potato salad. Awesome. So you so, get your sweet potatoes. So these are our roasted sweet potatoes yep. and we actually, we peeled and chopped these and we roast them for how long? About 25 minutes at 375. At 375. So if you can kind of look at them, you can tell they're like they're roasted. Yep. And you don't want to make them where they just turn into mush. Okay. So you want to get a nice little 375, 400. You don't want to like bake them at 300 so then they become soft. You okay. want to get them a little crisp because you're going to add are, that vinaigrette on it. Yep, they are. You can tell they'll be able to, hand, be able to handle that vinaigrette. Yep, so exactly. What do, we, what do we put on next? Uh, so we can go ahead and you can throw your dried cranberries so in there. So uh, how many, what's how many, um, I mean, how much is this? Right That's here? about a tablespoon, two tablespoons right, of dried so put cranberries. Two tablespoons yep. of dried cranberries in. Make sure I get all the cranberries. Yep. And so, Travis, so actually what made you start cooking? Uh, actually, I've been cooking my whole life. That's mm -hmm. you can go ahead and throw your red onion in there. I'll throw red onion. I've been cooking my whole life, but I uh, started considering it as a career. Uh, I suffered a back injury uh -huh. at work, and I was off work uh, for almost a year. And I started taking a few classes online. And when I got on my feet, I decided to go into it even further. And in 2019, just stepped out on faith and said, "We're gonna do this thing full time." And we haven't looked back since. And yeah, we, we so really love what we So that was the universe doing. redirecting you into another path. A exactly, I love exactly. It. Let's take another peek yes. at that chicken. Take another peek at that chicken. Grab my tongs. I have it here on my plate down here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Go ahead and flip uh, that over. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip it. Ah, oh, that is, is fantastic. So now what we want to do is we're just going to pop that in the oven, 375, 8 to 9 minutes. Okay. Either until it runs dry, if you Perfect. poke it, or a meat thermometer registers at 165. Perfect. 165 is the perfect temperature for poultry. But before we put it in the oven, I think it needs a little more of Georgia sweet potato. Why not? Bread. Let's do it. Hey, Give it a little sprinkle. Hey, there you go. Hey. There you Everybody go. Everybody know here we like to dance. So we got to do a little dance. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. There that, we go. Oh, man, that's going to be there good. There we go. That right is there. Be good. And so we're going to put this in the oven. For you to eight to ten minutes, correct? Yep. yep. Awesome. And so while we put this in the oven, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna we're finish, gonna finish this up. Finish it. Sounds great. All right. Look at it. It's about to go to the oven for eight to ten minutes on 375. 375. Awesome. So I know Travis. You know. So I know you uh, said you actually have been working like full time with Fox Catering, your company, since 2019, correct? Yes. 2019, uh, we went full time operational. Uh, we founded the company in 2015, okay. but I had, was at the tail end of a 25-year construction career. And uh, in 2019, like I said, just stepped out on faith and we decided to do this thing full time. And we uh, developed our spice rub blends that you're familiar with. That's uh, Fox's Spice Rub. So we're adding the feta and then you're adding the vinaigrette. Oh, that looks great. It looks amazing. Give that a nice little mix. So tell me a little more about your company. Like what all, what all do you sell? I do know you have the spice blend, yeah. but you also have a catering uh, piece to it also. Yeah, we're a food manufacturing company and a full, full service catering company. Uh, small events, large events, we do it all. That looks perfect. That looks really mixed in good. So that means when I have my 21st birthday party, and <laughs> I'm ready to cut loose and I need some good food, when I turn 21, we, we will I know be there. who I'm calling. We will okay. be there for you. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let's so, uh, throw some of that parsley on top. So what I ended up putting in was the feta, mm -hmm. and then I put in the vinaigrette that we made. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to put the flat leaf. Flat leaf parsley. Yeah, hey, I'm learning. <laughs> Look at that. I like that a little more than... Uh, Curly parsley, mm -hmm. the flat leaf parsley has a little more flavor to it. The curly parsley is the one that you see at the little diners on the side of the plate with the orange wedge. Okay. And we don't like that stuff too much. And there's a difference in the taste? <laughs> yes, yes. This is much brighter. That's it has good to a know. really, really good taste. That's good to know. Okay, that so I looks think that great. looks amazing. And our chicken has come out of the oven. It's nice and rested. You want to make sure that if you make this recipe, you rest your chicken. Any protein that you cook at all, when you take it out of the oven or remove it from heat, you should always rest it. Those juices are dancing around, and if you don't let it rest, as mm -hmm. soon as you cut into it, you lose all of that flavor that you worked so hard on. Wow. 
So we let ours rest and it is ready and it looks fantastic. And so how long should they let their chicken rest? I'd say at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes, yeah. awesome. So ours have rested, it has taken a nap, now it's ready. Now to... it is ready to go. Yes. So what we wanna do first, let's, before we, <laughs> before we go. I was nervous at first guys, when he brought this knife, <laughs> I started thinking about the movie Jason. Dun, 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 dun. It's so, not that bad. If I go missing, I know who to go look for. <laughs> it's not that bad. So before we cut okay. into it though, let's throw a little bit of our salad on our plates. Awesome, so I have our and, place over here. Awesome. Hey, thank you right so here. much. This looks great. And so this is our sweet potato hash salad. Yep. It's got the feta, the dried cranberry, the red onion, the flat leaf parsley, and our Dijon cider vinaigrette. And don't forget, it also has Georgia sweet it has potato our Georgia savory, savory blend, blend yes. in it also. Yes, yes. So don't forget that. That looks great. That's perfect. There we go. Okay. We, okay. We ready to wake up our resting chicken. Yes, we're ready to wake it up. So okay. you want to cut it on a bias, which is just straight across the grain this way. If you look at the chicken, you can see the grain is going that way. So when we cut it, you want to cut it against the grain. This leaves. You ever had chicken and it was really stringy? Yes. Sometimes that's not because it was dried out or a steak is dried out. Okay. It's just that it was cut incorrectly. It was cut incorrectly. Yeah. So what we're going to do, grab the back of it. Right. Yep. So I know this is actually cooking with Don, but I am actually <laughs> learning so much because he said cut it on the bias. I'm thinking, where is the bias? So now I know. Well, the what bias just means on the angle, I but what we're what doing is cutting now. against the grain. Hey. So, yeah. I don't need to go to culinary school. I got you. Hey, I'm good. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to cut it. Yep. Give us a nice little slice there. Oh, that's beautiful. Ah, look at me. Look at me. That is gorgeous. Ooh, I can that. do more than cut pies. Look at this. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, and that gotta, is fantastic. That is beautiful. Okay, that's that's great. I'm gonna cut another one more oh, okay. piece. <laughs> okay. Okay. piece. So we gotta try it before we put it with a salad. Okay, let's give it a shot. Here you go. To get you a piece. Cheers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> mm. That's good. As it's you can see, good. it's not dry. Mm -mm. It's not overcooked. Mm -hmm. That Georgia's savory blend, perfectly balanced, not too salty. Mm -hmm. Get that little hint of cinnamon, mm -hmm. a little nutmeg, mm -hmm. allspice. Mm. Almost brings you to Caribbean a little bit. Yes. That's fantastic. So, Travis, where can people find your spice blends at? Uh, we're online, foxcatering.com, Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and you can purchase through Facebook. Wow. But here locally, mm -hmm. you uh, Rainbow Blossom, which is all over, yeah. uh, they they carry it at all of their stores, uh, Black Market in yeah. Sellersburg, Indiana. Hubers has it. So if you're looking for it, you can find it, and if you can't find it. Just ask Dawn and she'll give me a call. Hey, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> I will get it to you. And so if someone wanted to follow you on social media, how can they follow you? Just so search Fox Catering. Mm -hmm. That's two X's. F-O-X-X -X Catering. Search Fox Catering and you'll find us. And uh, we do some great stuff. Uh, Sometimes we post some videos. Mm -hmm. We let you know where we're going to be. We let you know what's going on. If, whenever we bring out new products like the great Georgia's products that we're partnering on. Uh, so you want to stay in tune with whatever we're doing, just follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Yes. And if you forget all of that, you just follow Georgia's there you go. and just inbox me and I will be your connect. So I got you. Absolutely. So I am ready. You don't talk me about the bias. <laughs> I learned to, you need to see, you need to learn something new every day. You need to at least learn something new every day. So I have learned about the bias. And so now I'm ready to eat. Let's what about you? In. I'm ready. So Travis, I am so thankful that you have went on this journey with us. Oh, I appreciate and, you inviting me. And thank you for coming to our sweet potato magic table. So the only thing we have left to do now is eat. Oh, so absolutely. I forgot to cheers earlier, so cheers, cheers. and bon appetit. Yes. Now see he's now see it's taking me too long. I wanna get all my oh, no. see I wanna get everything there together. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> That's really, really good. Mm -hmm. So there's Mula Dance. Mula Dance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You combine the mm -hmm. chicken mm -hmm. with.